Investors are closely following developments on the trade front this morning. That's as U.S. consumers start to see higher prices for some products like recreational vehicles, soda, yep, even beer. Due to tariffs on metals and parts, Jonas Ferris, MaxFunds.com co-founder and FBN contributor is with us in a closer look. Hey, Jonas, good morning. Good morning. I mean, beer. I mean, this is upsetting. Uh, let's talk about first, let's get back to kind of the broader issue where we left things off last week between Jean-Paul Juncker and the president. Uh, you know, they had this meeting. It seemed like they had a framework of an agreement on trade, maybe open up Europe for soybean farmers, opening them up to some high, uh, high quality beef. Uh, and then the Europeans came back and said, hey, not so fast, that the, the, the president was overselling the meeting. As an investor, do you look at something like that or do you brush it off? Trump overselling anything? I don't know if that's true. Um, yes. Yeah. Uh, well, what you see there is why it was a success for Trump, because there's two people talking about trade deals, not a group of sandal and sock wearing Europeans, and Trump just is one of the people. So the goals seem to now be what they sort of were before, which is very few to no tariffs between us and the EU. And actually, everybody except China going to a low to no tariff mode, which was the point of TPP, which is the point of what was going on in Europe. So China's in a weak position. And, it, and that is a move in the right direction. So this was a good yeah. week last week. Yeah. Uh, the Chinese consumers are, you're talking about American consumers getting hit by prices. Everyone's getting hit a little, but you, people in China are getting hit worse. Uh, if you buy luxury SUVs in China, those prices are going way up this week. A BMW X5 is now going to be over $100,000 in China <laughs> because those are made in, in South Carolina as our Mercedes SUVs mm -hmm. in Alabama. And the Germans are really taking the most heat in this trade war because we're really in a spat with China. They put factories here for a variety of reasons, including our own tariffs at some point, and to have a place here. And they make these cars right. to sell to China, and now China's putting tariffs on the cars coming out of America to China. It's a big mess, it and is really what investors <laughs> yeah. want to know is how I, many eggs are we going to break to make this omelet? That's listen, really the question. I want you to, exactly. I want you to listen to what um, Treasury Secretary uh, Stephen Mnuchin uh, told Chris Wallace on Fox News Sunday about why they're pushing so hard on these trade deals. Listen. The focus is trade, not aid, and that's why we're focused on negotiating these agreements. But again, the president's not willing to live with the status quo, where other countries have taken advantage of, of the rules and had free trade here, and our, our companies and our workers can't compete fairly. I mean, do you think that they're making moves in the right direction, or, or do you think that it's a little too messy right now? You know... China's taken advantage. There's no, there's no question about it. And everybody knows, including the Europeans. But you know, Europe, Europe doesn't underprice us on labor or environmental rules or health care. Like German workers are on the same. They make a if they have a trade balance benefit with us, it's because they're making cars we want to buy. It's not because mm -hmm. of some scam or currency manipulation like you see with China. So, I don't know if the point makes any sense with Europe. More importantly. It's going to take everybody against China to get China to stop right. doing the abuses they've done over decades now uh, in, in going on in trade. Going it alone, that's going to be difficult to pull off. But the eye on the prize is China. It's intellectual property. It's forced technology sharing, all of that. You're right. I think and if China is weaker, that is a good thing. That means that we're going in the right direction. Jonas, great perspective. Good to see you, sir.